What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for September 16th, 2021. So we have a lot of stuff to go over. I'm going to keep this opening really short. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We have tons of stuff coming this week. It looks like a pretty good event for free to play, things like that. As long as you saved up your resources, your profit orbs, your five star shards, it might be pretty decent. Let's jump right into it. Okay, let's jump right into it. Of course, one of the new things this week is going to be this Vesta skin. It is going to be part of a package, not free. Eh, is what it is. Not everybody has Vesta anyway. Honestly, I like Vesta's base skin anyway. We'll have to see. Daily rewards, because it is a profit orb event and campaign loot drop event, you are going to be getting one profit orb and 100 of these rose bouquets every single day for logging in. Okay, right into it. Like, we're jumping straight into it, guys. We're going right to the Moon's Ritual. So, essentially here, spending 300 Profit Orbs, which is almost the full 320 for four loops, and getting five stars are going to be your 100% free way to get resources here. But you can also get these Carrot Biscuits. Uh, these Carrot Biscuits are interesting. You can convert 30 of your Rose Bouquets into these biscuits so it's very very interesting um you can do that up to 250 cap but most people if at a 30 to 1 means you're going to get about 80 of them so you're going to get about 80 resources here so in all you can get about 530 of these here what does that mean um you don't need to do the carrot biscuit conversion trust me you don't I've, I've looked at a bunch of stuff essentially what you can get right here is like a low tier pay to an artifact chest so what this is going to have it's going to have things like wildfire torch lucky candy bar antlers cane and kiss of ghost so originally i guess this was just going to be an antlers cane but the community managers actually convinced the dev team to make it a little bit better so they didn't want to put like you know the the amb's the crowns and in there but they did convince them to change this over to a exactly what i'm going to call it a low tier pay to an artifact chest so if you get to 400 by doing uh five star hero shards and the 300 profit orbs you can get to 400 very easily now if you don't have enough profit orbs saved up you can still do your daily logins get your carrot biscuits you can get up to like 80 of them if you get about 2400 of the event currency that's not too bad. It's not bad at all. You, there's multiple ways to get to this right here. We'll do a more in-depth video showing you the like most popular breakdowns if you can only do a certain number of loops. But I mean, you're also getting a five-star hero selection chest. You're getting a nine-star puppet. And then, of course, if you really want to, you can get up to $500 worth of VIP experience, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> this one's interesting, but... That pretty much gets you two pay to an artifact chest. If you do the entire event, you'll get 30 cores, 100 relics, uh, the couple more chests, some nine stars, you know, the whole fun stuff. So there's lots of ways to get there. We'll go more in detail in a video tomorrow once it goes live. So in case you're wondering if you have enough to get what you need, we'll break it down. But the big thing is we'll talk about the carrot biscuits later because that is like a nice side bonus event for this one. So I'm happy it's here. We do have the Profit Summoning event, and there's going to be another currency coming your way. You're going to get Onkiri Mara at 80 points, Sherlock at 60. If you have any hope or dream of finishing Fortress Sea Land at 25, you're going to need Sherlock copies. You might need two or three of them. It's insane how difficult Fortress Sea Land is, but you're also getting these cups here. I forget what they're actually called. Hold on. What are these guys called? These are... Osmanthus wine. I'm just going to call them wine because I'm probably going to forget the word Osmanthus. Already messing it up in my mouth. <laughs> but you can get 40 of them per loop. So most people are going to be doing four loops, getting 160 of these. Well, what are they used for? Uh, we'll get to that in a second. You're going to get 30 more from Heroic Miracle with the Fiona copy. So that is a really nice bonus right here. Definitely do it like you always do your Heroic Miracle. The you know, is still useful if you're doing Fortress Shield Land. Beyond that, she's a little more niche now, but she's still got some decent shields. So here it is. This is interesting. This is the Fairy's Journal. This is the event right here that we're talking about. So 
what is happening here essentially you're going to be using these wines to unlock stories so you'll notice there's like different stories here that they're gonna tell which is interesting i like it uh, a little more lore to the game it feels like but essentially consuming these wines will unlock short stories and drive the story forward help vessa to find the moon cakes recipe unlock short stories to get rewards um okay interesting interesting so there's some pretty good stuff here and like i said you should be walking away with about 190 of these i believe 160 from four loops plus another 30 so about 190 of them you can grab six star puppets you can get some resources there's a lot of flexibility of what you can buy here so that is pretty spicy um i i think this is an extra good event like definitely quality we'll go over it a little more in detail like i said tomorrow we do have the normal campaign event and they have changed some stuff up i think for the better so they are still giving one good hero copy at this for 2300 2700 is now just a five star chest they still have the star spawn core five and sixes for uh 3, each not too bad there's a light and dark hero selection chest at 3100 and then pay to win artifact chest at 3600 i feel like this is going to be the standard event but this is the event that you might not cash these in you might want to use them for something else and that something else is going to be the jade rabbits nosh so in this event you can convert 30 of these rose bouquets into one carrot so on average most people get around 2400 of the campaign loot that turns out to be about 80 of this resource so that means you could snag something like a uh, hero selection chest you can grab a nine star puppet limit of two of them if you do go a little overboard and spend a bit uh, but essentially you can get like you can still buy this right here for 50 so what is 50 50 times 150 so you can still get this plus some profit orbs if you need or you can just grab the five star shards to help complete the other event where you need to pull five stars there's also some skins i'd probably just you know stay away from all those those aren't really necessary uh stick to the top row that's gonna be the bread and butter and of course that nine star puppet is probably the best offer there there's Ormus Workshop coming back. There's Glorious Boost coming back. We, of course, have the best one here. Uh, Crown and AMB are, again, still the just the top tier stuff. Demon Bells have some use, but as you guys have seen on my channel, Demon Bells slowly fall out of fashion as you get to harder and harder difficulties. Crowns, A and Bs, they're just really strong for Sea Land. That's probably what you want to go with. So definitely grab some of those. We do have a couple of packages here. So the packages are priced as the following. 50 and 100, it looks like. Let me just confirm that. Make sure we got all that info right. Yeah, so 50 and 100. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, I feel like it would be less, but I guess you're getting 20 cores, and that's where the, the 100 is coming from. So if you want the skin, it's going to be a little pricey. The lower pack, still pretty good. It's a decent price, but those are the two packages. We, of course, have the new Vesta skin. Wow, that is really blown up, and you can't really see it. But just for quick stats, it's going to have control immunity, attack, and crit damage. So those are pretty decent stats right there as well. We also need to talk about value packages. It's the normal value packages for the profit orb slash campaign event loots. Um, it is what it is. Nothing super special about that. But uh, yeah, overall, pretty good event. So tons of free loot coming our way. Again, we will have a breakdown first thing probably after the event is live tonight. I'll try to post it sometime early in the morning tomorrow for Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, so check it out. Probably that 6 a.m. video we'll post. It will also be having a live stream tonight, most likely going over the new lion pet because, yes, the new lion monster is coming out tonight. We're going to build him and see what he can do and check out some interactions. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time.